I think it's a very interesting question uh, whether clozapine should be considered as a first line medication. Um, that wasn't, uh, that's not something that we're specifically advocating for, um, partially because I don't think it would ever be realistic. However, um, what, we, what we would like to advocate for is that it um, fulfills its role as a um, medication for treatment resistant schizophrenia. Because when we say that clozapine is underutilized, uh, we mean that even in situations where clozapine is very appropriate and indicated uh, to be used, um, it often doesn't get used and clinicians and patients will move on to yet another antipsychotic to try. Um, and in many cases, clozapine ends up getting started much later than it really should have been. Um, and that costs patients not only time, but um, also um, there's a cost in that the longer someone's uh, illness or, or psychosis is, is untreated, there are, there are long-term uh, consequences um, in terms of uh, what, what is happening in the brain. Point where clozapine really should be considered is when someone has failed at least two other antipsychotics, and by that I mean they have tried um, two antipsychotics at a sufficient dose and for uh, a sufficient duration, and found that um, they their symptoms don't respond adequately, or there are side effects limiting them to to continue long-term use of these medications. 